All systems are in Hello, this is Madreus, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. We got another Forzathon coming up here, and we're going to take a look at what you need to do to participate in it, and what vehicles you need, and what you need to do. So, as you can see here, I'm sitting here in a Camaro, and you use a Camaro to unlock a Horizon Edition 1969 Camaro. So. If we take a look at the new Forza Thon coming up tomorrow, as you can see here, win a, win a street race in, a, in any Chevy Camaro to win the 1969 Camaro Supersport Horizon Edition. Now, if you do that, of course, you're going to win the free play, which will get you an easy 35,000 credits. And we got two other ones here. You can win a co op race. Now, to win the co-op race, you need a friend, of course, to, to do that in. Uh, you win some nice credits and XP with that. Then a speed run, which means you have to just drive fast in a classic rally car. Now, let's just hop in the Camaro here. I'm driving the 19 Chevy Chevy Camaro Z28. One of my favorite uh, design of, uh, of Camaros. So, let's go find ourselves a street race here. Would probably prefer this vehicle. It's probably something with nice mellow turns and long straights. So let's see here. I find our street races here, and what you can do that and make it easier on yourself is to uh, adjust the filter to street races only. Uh, one thing I really wish they would have in Horizon, and maybe they'll have it in Forza Horizon 4 is the ability to see all the races in a list instead of having them dot around the map like this. Let's see here. Yeah, this might do. Some nice long sweeping turns. Nice little uh, hairpin turn there towards the end. That might be one to go with. Sure. Let's take a let's hop over here and try this one on for size. All right, here we are at this track. It's a street race, of course, so it's going to be at night and with traffic. So not only will I be dealing with poor visibility, but I'll also be dealing with other people driving down the road, as well as the other people in the competition. Now let's get loaded in here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, this is that particular race that has a little bit of a glitch in it. Okay, I'll uh, shut up here for a moment. I'll fast forward the tape here so you can see the glitch in action. And you gently touch down. It does this every single time you enter this race with pretty much any vehicle I've done it so, with so far. So if you want to see the trick, you can <laughs> do it yourself as well. Let's see what we're racing against here. We've got a Ferrari, a Mercedes. Jaguar. It looks like we've got a wide variety of vehicles here. Now, I always choose A-Class because it feels like it puts plenty of power and you can get some visibility out as well. So here we are, off the line. Decent amount of grip and everything, so that's good. Of course, it's a street race, so a little bit of bumping is bound to happen. Need to find a way past you. All right. Bend up this way, and we got a nice long winding turn there. 
Now this isn't completely night as it is sometimes the two street races. Now I can't guarantee it'll be like this for you because the, the weather and the time of night is always randomized. Seems that I'm the only vehicle that has any sort of torque at all to get up this hill. Well, if you're going to let me pass you, well, I'm going to take that. There we go. It's probably one of my preferred tracks. It's a little easier, but a comfortable drive, at least for me. There we go. A little dab on the brakes here for this turn here. Go down ship. We got a significant breaking point there, and then we have a real tight turn coming up here, I see. Downshift twice. There we go. Take that turn nice and easy. And I see a pack of very angry looking headlights behind me. So let's keep the accelerator down and try to get away. Pass them a little bit closely, but that's alright. Definitely uh, putting the hammer down here. Alright, now we get down to this center section here, which I believe it's done in many other races. Uh, we gotta make sure we hit the breaking point right for this, otherwise we will just go flying off into the wobbly yonder. There we go, down shift, there we go. No more wheel spin, a bit of a longer gear. We got a bit of a winding turn here, which is a, a speed zone, I believe, in the free row. Use the banking of the turn there to help us turn in. We got a little bit of windy bit here, which should be nice and easy to be taken here. Just make it nice and slow, and boom, we won ourselves a street race. All right, so we won the race. Uh, so by doing that, we completed two of the challenges. One was just com simply completing a race. The other one is winning a street race in a Chevy Camaro. Now, of course, I picked the 1970 Chevy Camaro by one of my favorite cars. And since the Forza Thon hasn't actually started yet, I don't get anything for doing this. But just to show how quick and easy it is to jump into it, get it done, and get back onto whatever you wanted to be doing. So, uh, I'd like to also share with my tune that I made for this particular car. Just uh, look up my name. Xbox username, which I'll pop up here in just a second. There it is. So just look up that, look up the Chevy Camaro, and it's all yours. And I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.